What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the basic equipment that you need as a diver, what functions they perform and how they help you become a better diver. Uh, don't forget to click on the like button, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Yeah, so I agree to schedule with Tony and what I liked about the scuba Lagos is a lot of, you know, the divers there are working people so you can I agree a schedule that is comfortable for you. I mean, for me, I had a nine to five, and you know, I told my instructor I can't come during the week. And if I do come during the week, it will be up. It will, it, will, it will have to be after work hours. Uh, so you know, I started. Oh, and by the way, check out the link to the scuba Lagos school. You know, in my description below. Going into the pool. First of all, just getting comfortable in the water, swimming with the fins, swimming with the face mask, swimming, learning to you know kick my legs, float on my back, and then swim up with my face front. And after I'd done that a couple of times, and then we started you know using the equipment. So I'll walk you through kind of the basics of the equipment. The first piece here, you know, are the fins. The fins are long. You know they kind of give you that propeller push through the water um, there's a lot of advanced technology in the scuba world uh, you know some you have stick fins you have all kind of fins you have open foot fins you have closed foot fins uh, the blades help you to move in the water so they propel you forward they help you to you know really navigate underwater and then you have the face mask you see the face mask covers your eyes and your nose and um, to ensure that as much as possible uh, water doesn't get into that space and it's so important to equalize the air in your face mask so you keep on you know blowing through your nose and equalizing to make sure that the air that is captured in your face mask is um, balanced with the rest of your body and I must admit that for the face mask you really want to get a good fit uh, because I'm just learning to dive I, I use all the equipment that is provided by the, by the school uh, but once you start shopping for your own personal equipment you want to make sure that you get fitted personally for as much as possible everything so that it really you know fits your face as much as possible it, it limits the water that gets into your uh, mask under water and to be honest I, I, at least from my personal experience I don't think it's entirely possible to not have water on your face but at least it limits it um, so, that, so that's the face mask the next thing is your buoyancy control device now this is literally the most uh, you know like the next most important piece of your scuba equipment so it's, it's a jacket and you see you wear it you know as two straps like a kind of like a backpack and again as with everything technology keeps advancing there are different uh buoyancy control devices i'll just call it bcd uh that is made and some are actually fitted specifically for women so i'm hoping to get one soon that is you know fitted for people for women that allows flexibility you know across your chest and it's not you know compressing your boots and the buoyancy control device is basically meant to it's kind of like a bladder you know think about the bladder of a pig um, where you can inflate and deflate the quantity of air that goes into it now based on the science of scuba diving and please guys pardon me here i'm not a tech diver i'm still a rep diver learning a recreational diver so if I mix up the technical terms, forgive me ahead. So, when you're going underwater, the air in your body starts to compress because of the pressure of the water. So you need to inflate your BCD to maintain a certain level of buoyancy. So if you're in the water, right, you sink to a certain point and then your body sort of equalizes and you're, you're maintaining like a, a fluid state underwater. Uh, with your BCD, you can't 
kind of regulates that tempo depending on the view of the weight you're carrying. So now everything you're wearing contributes to the weight that determines how much you need to inflate your BCP or deflate it, the deeper you go or when you're ascending back to the surface um, of the ocean. So that's the BCD and uh, maybe I'll go into more a bit more technical jargon or details later um, in my subsequent video. I